There is very little doubt in my mind that the Montreal Canadiens are going to have a very busy offseason and it could be Mark Bergevin's biggest test as Habs general manager to date. One of the biggest things on Mark Bergevin's agenda this offseason will be figuring out what to do with Max Domi. Do you sign him to a bridge deal? Do you sign him long term? Or do you go the trade route with this Habs polarizing figure? To understand how we've gotten to this point with Max Domi and the Habs, we need to sort of go through a timeline of events since he was acquired by the Montreal Canadiens. To start, we go back to the summer of 2018 where Max Domi was acquired from the Arizona Coyotes in exchange for Alex Galchenyuk. Domi then put up a career high in points in his first year with the Montreal Canadiens putting up 72 points including 28 goals. The Habs were clearly very pleased with Domi's production in year one and it looked like they had finally found a solution in that top six as a center. Fast forward to the 2019 season where Domi began the season on a line with Habs rookie Nick Suzuki and Arturi Lekkinen but finished the season during the playoffs on the Habs third line as a winger including bouncing around as the team's fourth line center. So what went wrong here between Domi and the Canadians? Is the relationship repairable or is the writing on the wall and Domi's future as a Canadian hanging in the balance this offseason? Honestly, I think this has a lot to do with Domi's defensive game, which I don't even think is that bad to begin with when he actually pays attention to the details in the defensive zone. I believe Domi and head coach Claude Julien don't see eye to eye and that likely has a lot to do with Domi moving around the lineup this season and not being a staple as a Habs top six center. Claude clearly sees Domi as a center and made it very clear during his year-end debrief with reporters. Some of this is clearly posturing, which likely has to do with making sure Domi's value hasn't taken a hit on the open market because we all know centers are more valuable than wingers. The issue now is that the Canadians have a luxury of depth at center, something which they haven't been able to say in a long time with Nick Suzuki, Jesperi Kakaniemi, Philip Deneau, and Jake Evans. I'm hard pressed to see Domi as a solution on the wing because he's more of a playmaker and the Canadians already have an abundance of playmaking wingers and he's not going to be put above Jonathan Druin and Thomas Tatar in the Habs lineup. Now let's look at where we are today. Domi has been linked to a lot of different teams over the past few weeks in trade scenarios including the removal of Montreal from his Instagram and Twitter bio. Domi fired his agent Pat Brisson this offseason who is a noteworthy close friend of Habs general manager Mark Bergevin. Domi's new agent is now Darren Ferris who is most famous for his recent negotiation with Leafs star Mitch Marner last offseason. Sportsnet's hockey insider Elliot Friedman reported on Hockey Night in Canada that Max Domi's new agent Darren Ferris has already met with Mark Bergevin to discuss his client's situation. He said that the agent confirmed that Domi has not asked the Canadians for a trade. With that being said, a trade still might make the most sense for both parties. Every team covets centers and the Habs now have some center depth to be able to improve their team in other facets of the game. Now that Mark Bergerman has checked off the backup goalie on his list, it's clear that the Canadians' two biggest needs are a partner for Shea Weber and a scoring winger. If the Habs do decide to go the trade route with Max Domi, it's clear that he could go a long way in fetching the Canadians one of those two items. Matt Larkin of the Hockey News did a piece on five teams that could acquire Max Domi this offseason, so I took a look at some of the pieces on those teams that could be used to acquire Domi. It's been clear for a very long time that the Minnesota Wild and the Montreal Canadiens are a match made in heaven for a potential Domi trade. Minnesota has a surplus on defense and could look to offer a player like Jonas Brodin in a trade for Domi. There's been some rumors for a while now that Columbus's big winger Josh Anderson could be on the way out and Max Domi could be a perfect solution for them down the middle of the ice. Josh Anderson would provide some size on the wing for the Habs and could be a net front solution on the power play. Now last week Pierre Lebrun and Frank Saravalli of TSN caused a stir in Winnipeg reporting that Nikolai Ehlers and Patrick Laine both could be on the trade market. Now it would certainly be in Mark Bergevin's best interest to at least inquire on both players even if you do need to add to a package that includes Max Domi. You can also look at San Jose as a possible destination especially if Joe Thornton does leave the Sharks this offseason. Kevin LeBanc could be someone that Habs target as a potential return. Lastly you have to look at the Detroit Red Wings as a possible solution. Anthony Mantha could be a solution on the wing for Montreal while Max Domi would certainly fit nicely in the top six for the Red Wings. Now I don't know what the future holds for Max Domi and the Montreal Canadiens but I think this will go either one of two ways. The Canadiens will either sign Domi to a short term deal or trade him for a need on the current roster. 
Now, it's not a coincidence that Max Domi put up a career-high 72 points in his first season with Montreal and is only one year removed from that. Max Domi clearly has value on the ice for the Montreal Canadiens, but I think his biggest value right now might be being the Habs' biggest trade ship. If Mark Bergevin can use Max Domi in a package to land one of the Canadiens' two biggest pressing needs on their roster, I think he has to pull the trigger and do it. Whatever happens with Max Domi and the Canadiens, there is little doubt that Mark Bergevin will be very busy leading up to the NHL Draft on October 9th. That's it for me from Cook's Corner today. I'm Zach Cook. We'll see you later.